To make a video of your assembly of your letters, you're going to go to New. On the templates, just simply click on the tab that says Standard IAM, and that's going to open up what we call an assembly where you can put parts together in Inventor. First thing you're going to do is you're going to bring in your first letter. So you're going to go to Place, find your letter K, in my case, which is my first letter. I'm going to double click on that and open it. Once it comes in, I can put it anywhere I want, so just simply click somewhere, and that will allow that K to go there. Uh, if you only need one of those letters, you're going to hit Escape so that only one letter is brought in. Then, the next step, go over here to the plus sign, or go over here to your, your part file, right-click on it, and you're going to go to Grounded. And what that does is it now allows my part not to move at all. So it's basically put into place and it won't move. Next, I'm going to place my next letter, which is an E. So I'm going to go to my part file, I'm going to go to Place, go to the letter E, I'm going to double click on that, and I'm going to bring it in anywhere I want. Again, since I only need one of them, I'll click it once and then hit Escape. Now I have to put it together, and I put it together using constraints. So when I click Constraint, there's two constraints. Mate, which is two surfaces touching, to, touching together, so think of your palm of your hands touching, that's mate. And the other one is flush. Think of like the top of the tables are flushed with each other. Okay, and using these two constraints, you're going to put your letters together. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change it to flush, and I'm going to click the top of my rectangle of one letter and the top of the rectangle in the other letter, and you'll see that they move, and you're going to hit apply. Then we're going to flush the back edges. So I'm going to click on the back edge of the K, the back edge of the E, and notice that it brings it down, and I'll hit apply there. The last constraint is mate. So when I change it to mate, I'm going to click on this surface, and it's going to mate with the other side of the E, so I've got to rotate my screen around so I can see, click on that, and then now those are mated together, and then hit apply. So if you try to move the E, it's not going to move, and neither will a K. That's when you know your assembly is done. It takes three constraints, flushing with the top, flushing with the end, and mating those in-between parts that touch. To bring your next piece in, go back up to place, find your part file, which in my case is in. I would need two of those, so I go ahead and click once, click twice, and then I'd hit escape, and I would repeat that process again using constraints with flush and mate to get the letters to match up the way I want. Continue that process until you have all the letters that you need to spell out the word that you're looking for. Then when you're done, simply save it.